What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be talking about reasons to keep and why not to keep a rooster. Let's do this. The first reason to keep a rooster is because you want them to protect your flock. Not all roosters will protect your flock, but some will. Sometimes it takes you two or three roosters to find one that will protect your flock from like hawks and stuff. But like they're not going to protect from like a coyote or something. Like They can't fight that off, but a hawk, they can at least try. Next up, they can stop fights between hens, which is a really good thing because if two hens are fighting, the rooster will run right in between them and break up the fight. So, yeah. And the next reason is just how cool they look. They look really cool. They look different inside your flock when you're looking at your flock and all that. Because <clears throat> they have the tail feather, uh, the hackle feathers, and um, the saddle feathers, and I'll pop up an image right here of that, and yeah, it's really cool. And lastly, we have, of course, baby chicks. Who doesn't love baby chicks? And your birds can hatch them out, you can get an incubator and hatch them out yourself. You know, everybody loves baby chicks, you can hatch them out and sell them, do whatever you want. Yeah. Now, on to the reason for not to keep a rooster. <laughs> First up, of course, we have their crowing. They don't just crow in the morning like some people think. They crow all day, and I mean all day. As you can see. Next up, they can be really, really mean. So, I don't ever wanna keep a mean rooster. I haven't found out if my coach in Rocky is mean yet, but if he is, I'll have to get rid of him. And yeah, never keep a mean rooster. And then finally, they can abuse your hens. If you don't have a good hen to rooster ratio, your hens could be, really be beat up and that can really mess with their egg production. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Comment me something. Bye.